No, it's just, I don't know, when people get 40 or they get in their 30s, it doesn't matter. The, you're not going to get any younger, okay? You're going to be just getting older as time goes by. So you're going to have to get over that shit real quick. That's what I try to explain to them. Like, today's the youngest you're ever going to be for the, for the rest of your life, you know? <laughs> Tomorrow, you're just going to be slightly a little bit older. So, like, you know, this whole thing about your age. Also, people that dwell on their age and shit more, and people, like, stress about stuff like that, I think that ages them more or something. They get more stressed out and more, you know, makes them look older faster. Yeah, probably because no one was in there. But I'm just saying, alien feeling awkward and out of place because you're getting a little bit older than the crowd at the place. That shit's not going to get better, you know, as you get older. It's just going to get worse. So you're going to, we're just never going to go out again because you're, oh, I'm 40 now. I can't go anywhere. I might see someone that's in their 20s or that'd be awkward. What if they ask me how old I am? I have to tell them I'm 40. Well, then what? Oh, what, what, I forgot what I came back to get. I gotta get the stupid mugs. The mugs are what you fucking save money with. The mugs. Well, I guess I'll go to the fucking bar by myself then, because I got no backup. Just because I wanted to go to this place where there actually where people actually where people actually come to this bar, he's like, I'm down to go to the bar where no one at where there where there's no one there. Well, I'm not. Why would I waste my money? And the drinks are more expensive there. Why would I waste my money to go to a bar where there's nobody there? I could just hang out with Dave at his house and fucking drink way cheaper. You know, sit there and fucking pay higher prices for drinks, right? You know, and it, the whole point is like, go talk to people. people. There's not a ton of people here, but there's some people. Hey, what up, guys? Get the locals got to hold it down. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sure oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sorry, I was kind of fat. I'm like, God damn. Oh, God, there went a bunch of babies out here, though. Damn it, now they know I'm obese. <laughs> I get on the keto diet, though, uh, uh, earlier this month at May, and my mom and I just help motivate each other. and so, yeah, she's lost like 16 pounds on it since May, and I've lost like 25. Yep. So, you said you're starving for, yourself. Not yeah. really. I mean, it's like, I'm not, I eat. Nutrition, yeah. My body doesn't crave like sweets and stuff, though, because I'm not eating like, I'm not hooked on carbohydrates and shit anymore. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I went to Red Lobster last night, and I ended up like, I had like a, a little one of those Cheddar Bay biscuits or whatever, but I mean, sometimes I eat like a carb or something, but I end up still losing like a pound today, so I, was, I, I eat kind of like a less. Like a lighter dinner or something, but I just try to stand her 30 net carbs a day or something. It's been working for me. I got up to 290, and then the most that I'd ever weighed before is 260. And I was like, ooh, this is uncharted. Well, it's like, this is an uncharted phase. Like, am I going to go 300? Or, yeah, basically, it's like, I got to either, either I'm going to keep getting more and more, or I got to, like, do something. I was at 250 in high school. I did keto for a year. And you did it too? Uh, about 90 pounds. That's yeah. great. Over a year. So, yeah. And then I've gained a little bit back because I stopped doing it. That's the part that sucks. Yeah. Well, but. and then once I started on the carbs, again, I was like, oh, or having cheat days, that sh yeah. it's easier to like have more cheat days or For something. Sure. Like, uh, it's so like, I, well, I had some ice cream yesterday. I guess I could have pasta today or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's hey, just all discipline. Here? Yep. Is there any line here? Or no, nah, sorry. Well, it's not talking to me. Yeah, you too. Yeah, yeah thanks. You too. All right. Like this. He just, he just gets so much anxiety. He won't even let himself go out and do anything. He gets so scared. He has so much fear. He looks fear control. Uh, 
Uh, I got two mugs. I want to do, uh, can I get two rum and diet? Can you, can you rinse those out too? I didn't wash them since last week. <laughs> Alright, I got a couple rum and diets, bro. I don't know, right now you don't really need to bring, usually I bring the two mugs because it's usually so, the mug is $3. And then you, once you have the mug, you get discount like $3 double wells in the mug. So it's called Mug Club on Tuesdays. But... No, they, you have to. You buy a mug from them. You just bring your mug back. But usually it's so crowded that um, you usually have two mugs because the line is so long. It takes so long to get a drink. But now you don't really need that. There's, it's not. It's not crowded. So now I'm just sitting here by myself, just because my friend's a fucking pussy. He wants to hang out and do something, but he was too scared to go out. He thought there'd be too many people here or something. You gotta get some friends that aren't fucking losing. Man. Just wanna sit at home doing nothing all the time. Fuck that shit. All my friends are either broke or on drugs or alcoholics. Or all the above, and like never fucking want to, never have any money to do anything, or never like want to go leave the house. No, dude, I, just, I feel like if I'm just sitting at home by myself all the time, I feel like a fucking loser. Go out and do something. You know, do a little bit of something. Get out, get out of the house, have a little bit of fun. Thank you. Yeah, there's two drinks, so it's only six bucks. I'll do a two dollar set, right? Thank you. I try to tip like a dollar for every drink I get. It's kind of like a baseline. Or the next one, I might just take a dollar. I'm getting two at the same time. Damn, that's strong. You don't like Drake? One probably would have been enough, honestly. I get some food after I leave here. Oh, there's some people out here. It's not completely. It's not completely dead out here. I'm just gonna sit by the fire or something. I don't know. Ooh. I started spilling my drink a little bit. No, did I get it in my feet? Oh man, I hope. Not. I'm an okay looking dude. You're trying to fuck, bro? An okay looking dude. <laughs> Compared to what? An okay looking guy. I didn't. Don't make up stuff like that. I never hooked up with Bong Bong. I wouldn't have... 
anything to do with her. Don't even bring her up. Time that guy out. Meet up before summer ends. Jeff, I don't know if I have time. There's this, I was thinking about doing that Ice Poseidon thing where it's like, I thought it was a $50,000 thing, but I guess it's 20000 That's still good. I think there's only one main prize, though, so does that mean, are there going to be any other smaller prizes or things or along the way, or does that mean one person's getting twenty k and then the rest of the people get nothing? Talk to college girls, so then you guys can say I'm a weirdo who talks to the hot babes. So weird. Talking to people. I'm sitting by the fire. If anybody wants to come talk to me, the fire is here. The fire draws people in. So I just sit here and wait. Like a moth to the flame. You sit around. Also, I don't have a campfire. Well, I don't have a nice campfire circle like this in my place. I don't get too many. I like campfires. I'd rather sit around the campfire than sit at some table. I don't really have a campfire in my house like this, so it's kind of nice. Have a nice fire. Something about the fire, I just like it. It's primal. It brings something out in me. Reminiscent of old westerns. Camping, home on the range. Sixty forty burger meat. Forty percent fat. You eat seventy thirty. More like seventy thirty. Forty sixty. I did clean out. I did. I did clean the barbecue grill. Got it ready for the new season. Just had some. Had a New York strip steak for for dinner. That was awesome. Like a nice little seven dollar New York strip steak. I bought down at the grocery store. They got them on special. This week for ten ninety nine a pound. So I usually stock I don't stock up that much, but I buy like two or three at a time usually. This is already the second time this week I've been back. It's good protein. <laughs> steak sounds good. I know. What kind of steak do you guys like? Skirt steak, good skirt steak would cost more. Skirt steak at Walmart was like ten ninety nine a pound. I was like, are you kidding? You get New York strip at this other place. Like a flat iron steak. It'd be better if I had a friend to fucking hang out with. I wouldn't look like a weirdo being by myself. I look like a strange person all alone when people see like one person alone they're like what's wrong with him it's like in the, in the wild you know it's like there's a lone deer it's like something's wrong with him I feel like you need to have even more confidence and courage to go out by yourself I do feel like it seems like if a group of guys with like eight of those guys they all know each other all these people kind of like Sitting like picnic tables, so you know each other. Well, chat, I guess it's just me and you. It's just us, baby. Deepak's manager's there? Holy cow. There you go. Right, get a phone number. Like, Phone numbers don't really lead to much sometimes. When I see people alone in the bar, I'm like, what the fuck? 
Well, we gotta go and do something, right? Sizzler and Ryan's Buffet. Oh, yeah, I remember Ryan's. We used to go to Ryan's. They used to have that apple butter. Remember they had that apple butter that was really good? And those rolls. The lab grown New York strips. Yeah, steak's gotta be, you know, it's a lean protein, I think, as far as eating meat goes. I think steak's gotta be up there. Same shirt I wore yet yesterday. Steakhouse's closed when you came here in 2016. That was a perfect place. We could have ate at, but it's but it's back. Oh, okay. Jeff, why don't you just I don't know. Come to Indy, Jeff. Just fly over to Indy. Or just drive up to Minnesota. It's like five hours, isn't it? Rum and Coke is like I think. Fly there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I was I thought maybe I was gonna hang out with Kara Kitty and then she never messaged me or made any plans before she came to America to like so I could like meet her somewhere. And then she just like messaged me like after she's already in LA, hey where where do you live? I'm like, I live in Indiana. Like, I need time to do shit and, like, prepare stuff. I need to just, like, I don't know, just, like, magically teleport to L.A. in one day or something. Like a 20-hour drive. More than that, really. Probably more than a 24-hour drive. Come on, Burger, you can teleport. I can't. I really can't. Oh, these guys are talking to the hot girls thing. That could have been me. They're making moves. This one guy's swooping and talking to the dude. And then the other guy's trying to wingman it. I see what they're doing. I see their angle. Who's on cute boot? Well, it's not about just an airplane ticket. I gotta afford to rent a hotel in some expensive city. That's why I was gonna drive so I could sleep in my car, save money. So the most expensive things of like going, traveling, being in these cities is like hotel fare. So if I could sleep in the back of my car on a mattress, I save a lot of money each day. I actually make money each day. Maybe she would have paid for your hotel. I doubt that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't depend on it or want her to rely on it. And then she gets mad or something. It's like, well, I'm not paying for it today, so you just don't have a place to stay tonight or something. People get mad and shit. Try to power trip over people like that. I don't know. I wouldn't want to risk that. When are you back in Colombia? I don't really have any plans to go back to Colombia. Only person I'd like to see there again was uh, Sarah. She's about the only one worth a fuck of like talking to again from Colombia. Are you kidding? Who else would I talk to from there? Sarah seems pretty cool. I heard she was moving to Miami. Go to Oaxaca. Man, that'd be crazy taking magic mushrooms in Mexico. Like in a, another country, that'd be tripped out. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think this time I might visit Laos too, because it's like right by the border of Thailand. A place called like Viet, Viet, Viet Tien or something. Laos is like right by the border of Thailand. I might check that out. I heard it's like, I think Chris went there. He said it was cool. Fresh mushroom season in June. Dude, I don't want to go trip balls in fucking Mexico. I had enough. I had enough when I was in Los Angeles. I had to, I don't like to do that stuff very often. I did that. Luckily, I did that with Andrew. He's kind of supervising me, so I didn't get too fucking far out there. I was able to have somebody to talk to to keep me grounded, to get in, get inside my own head too much. It's good to have him there. Yeah, I know. I thought it was really cheap. Bangkok to Laos for like 45 bucks. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I don't want to be doing balloons and stuff anymore, though. I gotta... I want to stay the fuck away from balloons. It's a big waste of money. Also, I saw something about this woman that... She was addicted to nitrous oxide, and... She's not able to walk anymore. It, like, messed up her nervous system and everything. And she's had all kinds of health issues now, and... She doesn't even know she's going to be able to walk again. Like, yeah. That's scary. Yeah, I like them too much. There's really no way to, like, moderate with that shit because the, the buzz is, is it so short-lived. You just want to stay on the buzz the whole time and stay on the gas. You just want to keep doing more and more. That's the whole... That's why they call it hippie crack, so... It's good if you have a business and you're selling the balloons. It's not good if you're doing them all the time. Like, those... The business, the fucking... That guy, that, that club that I went to in Vietnam... Literally, this guy was bringing in, like... He was bringing in, like, Louis Vuitton handbags out of his office with fucking... Just stacked full of cash, bro. This guy... Had a lot of money coming through. I'm like thinking, like, damn, how much of that money is my money? I'm <laughs> fucking giving them all this money for fucking balloons over the last month. Like, holy shit. Oh my god. Here we go. Here, this person's banned. There we go. It's the same person I banned before. Yeah, and I haven't passed out or blacked out from balloons ever ever since those other streams when I was doing the balloons on stream. I think it was maybe there's something else in the gas or something. You know, it's not really that wreck. It's like kind of a black market gray area. You know, maybe there's some other kind of inert gas or something in it. Or, I don't know. Who knows what the fuck else what's really in it. You know, it's supposed to be nitrous oxide, but you know who knows. I heard usually they, like, add more oxygen to it or something, but I don't know. Sometimes if they cut it with something, it's just, like, cut with oxygen, but I'm not sure. But... I don't know how they do it, but let's have some machine. Well, yeah, I was doing it like a lot of hours too, you know. I don't know. Well, I haven't had any problems like blacking out any other time I've done it though. So, passing out or anything, not even once. So. more maybe more pure because it's like more like medical gas rather than there's different grades of nitrous there's food grade there's medical grade and then there's scientific grade 
scientific grades like 99.9% or something pure, and you have to have like special license or something like as a scientist or something to do research with that or something. Um, it's like highly regulated. Then there's like medical grade, but like apparently those med- those are supposed supposedly medical tanks in like Vietnam and shit. And I heard I heard they have those in Laos too. But. Yeah, the tanks with the nitrous are always like there's like the twenty pound or fifty pound tanks that are usually painted blue for some reason. Also, like, hopefully the tank doesn't have, like, a lot of rust and residue inside the tank. I don't know how dirty, filthy the tanks are inside these things sometimes. Breathing a bunch of fucking iron dust and shit. Yeah, I think maybe the stuff I had, they said it was medical, so. They got some shady dentist or something to fucking, I don't know. However, they got to they make a lot of money off of it, so they pay the cops and the military and shit off to put the money in the right hands. You're open if you if you miss a payment. You know they come and give you a fine or some shit. They get the money one way or another. They're gonna get it in fines or they're gonna get it paying them bribe bribes or whatever it is. Yeah, the balloons are no good. Well, it's just, it's just the way it makes you feel, you know, like a fiend, you know? It's like, it's like cocaine or something. You do it, you just want more. Well, it's actually worse than cocaine. Because it's like, at least with coke, you can stay high for a little bit. You're not doing, like, bump after bump after bump, you know? You're like, you do a bump every, like, 10, or every, every 10 minutes. Every, every 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I don't know, whatever you feel like doing. But, uh, yeah, look at with it, so you just, like, boom, boom, one after another. It's just when to keep riding the wave and stay high on that gas. Probably not gonna stay out too long. This feels good to go out and do something. I don't know. Just sitting in a bar, listening to some music, having a drink for a little bit. Feel like I did something. Like sit at home. Go chat to some women. Yeah, there's some people, women at this table over here. There's a few different groups of girls. I just. I don't know, the thing is, I'm not, like, more insecure, insecure too, because I have my phone, so it's kind of weird, like, I'm holding my phone up, it kind of looks weird, it looks like I'm trying to film them or something, maybe, I don't want them thinking about being weird. I'm just filming myself, you know. Apparently that band, Glow Stick, they live not too far from me. I don't know, you guys never sent me these new dress where to go to yet. When am I going back to Thailand? Uh, I don't know. I need to get paid out hopefully I can make more money this month now since I have that kick 
creative incentive program and it'll be a better payout this month and I'll have some cash to do something. Maybe I can travel some more and then I'll make even way more money. If I can get my numbers up to like a thousand viewers again, I'll be fucking killing it, dude. I'll be making like, I don't know, I could be making a few hundred dollars a day easy probably if I could get like a thousand viewers like I was before. Just that stream yesterday where I went to, uh, where I just went to have uh, the shrimp and then went to the head shop and then drove home. It was like a little under three hours of streaming. I think I topped out at 180 viewers or something like that. And I made like I made thirty dollars just, just doing that. <coughs> I was like, that's pretty good. Seems like an average about ten about ten dollars an hour if I have a hundred viewers extra than from like my subscriptions and stuff. But you know, if that was a thousand viewers, shit, it might be like a hundred dollars an hour or something. Fuck, that, that shit would add up quick. Ten hours of streaming. If I could, you know, with a thousand people watching or something, I might, I don't know, I might stand to make like a thousand dollars a day or something crazy. Should be sick. That'd be real nice. Would be good. I thought about going to try to do that scavenger hunt to make some money for this trip, and it would help me make a lot of money. Even if I don't make, even if I don't win the money, just the fact that I was going and getting involved with the Ice Poseidon stream and doing the event and shit would help me make a lot more money too. Just being a part of that, help me get a lot more viewers and shit. Even if I win or not, I'd still make more money than I'm making now. <coughs> yeah, ten dollars an hour on a bonus. I mean, that's just with a hundred viewers. You know, sitting in my room or in my car. I don't know. Actually, if I'm driving around my car, I usually have a little bit more viewers. I don't know why people don't like to see me doing well in my studio and, or my little bedroom studio I made. Like, it's too nice. They're like, oh, get, back, get, get inside a van. Cheers. Welcome to the party. Oh, you guys were inside? Yeah, since school's out of session, it's the, just the townies. Just us townies and locals only. Locals now. Or like summer students or something. Oh, you did? Shit, you look young. Were you 24? Oh, you graduated at 21? Oh, no, graduated at 24, yeah. Did you grad you graduated college though or just now? Yeah, like done at twenty one? Done at twenty four. Oh. Oh okay. I was like, I was usually I was like, okay. Hey, what's up with you? Been good. How you been? I'm alright. Darius, right? Yeah. What's up? Yeah, I've just been chilling. Not too much. Yeah, I've been. In, I, I just started as public administration and quantitative psychology double masters. Oh shit! Well, you must be. I can barely say that. What'd you say? I just graduated from psychology. Are you trying to be clinical or research or both? I was trying to do clinical, but right now I'm trying to get a job. You gonna work? In, could you be work for BetterHelp, or do you got to be certified to do that, or what? One of those webs. You know those online psych, oh, okay. psychiatry things. I haven't looked too much into them. I don't know. There, I think it's becoming a pretty popular thing, though. Oh no! Online psychiatry, or probably, probably after COVID too, everybody switched to that. Kind of. So I mean, you probably couldn't see your psychiatrist for during COVID. Some of them. the locker. Way cheaper overhead for you. You don't have to rent an office or buy a big expensive couch or all that shit. Rent of renting a brick and mortar real estate for something like that in the big city's got to be crazy expensive. You could just do it from you can do it from home, and then still make decent money doing it, and then you're not having all those costs, so that's more profit. I 
it, for me, well, though, like, so it's, like specialize in ketamine therapy. When, when, it, com- when it comes to my, uh, not my mom, when, when yeah. it comes to my own, I did some health. ketamine down in Colombia, but damn, that shit is like. I should have done some more coke with it to like fucking but I was like scared to like speedball it or something I was like yeah maybe it's not good to like uh, I was like I just rode the wave out it was like about three hours where I was just in like a K-hole down in Colombia you tried ketamine too? was it a powder or something you thought it was coke? <laughs> were you still trying to do wine? That was not picky. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh! I had like an hour. I'm like, all right, I'm locking in. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. That actually happened to me on Thanksgiving in Brooklyn. I, I had some Coke, and then this other guy also had some Coke, and then he also had some K, but he's like... I was like, hey, can I try your shit to see if it's better than, like, the shit I get or whatever? And I was like, I'll let you, you know, try one of mine or whatever. And he's like, oh, and he's like, well, I'm saving that for the girls, but I have this K. He's like, how about you have some of this K? And I'm like, I've never really done that shit. And I'm like, all right. I'm going to take, like, a key bump of that shit. And then I was just, like, saw, like in a K-hole for, like, three hours. I felt real swimmy and nauseous. Or he's still really, really dizzy. And, I kept trying to drink water to like get it to go away and shit because I just felt like really dehydrated, nauseous, but it didn't really help that much. Man, it's been years since I felt that way. Well, I was in, I was living in Brooklyn at the time, so I wasn't with family, so we we're like kind of just went to a friend's house and they had like a friends giving kind of thing. So it wasn't like with grandma or anything. <laughs> no, I had a Christmas where I got too drunk though and like I cut off my cousin's son's rat tail and like all hell broke loose and they wanted to like beat my ass and shit. They were like people were crying and shit. Was like, it an ugly rat tail? Yeah, it was like I thought I was doing the so- doing a solid for the little dude but helping him out. Yeah. Oh yeah, they were real pissed. Yeah, I've had a few times I drink and did too much of some everything. <laughs> the black sheep of my family for sure. What about you, black sheep? Uh, my, they're, star, they're starting to give me. They're starting to give me. They're starting to give me. There are a couple things they don't understand about me. For one thing, I'm kind of blunt, so I'm a Sagittarius. But I am, I'm like, I am charismatic. I, you know, I love the world. I Stubborn like a ram. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a, uh, I love the world, including my tough world. And, and I also want to be believed in. So, like, and so, like, that's, so I direct a lot of my focus on the Church of Darius. Church of Darius. I th- I've it worked actually, for L. Ron Hubbard. I've actually thought of that. <coughs> what Scientology is, or fucking Mormonism, or Christianity, or somebody came up with it. It wasn't like it just you know, came out of thin air. Right. Then I, then I realized if I did that, someone would probably try and kill me. I had a crazy idea um, about um, a website where because all I. I saw that like all the members of the like spouses and members of the, the Senate and Congress, like they their their portfolio for the stock exchange and the stock market outperforms Fortune 500 professional investors and analysts because they basically do insider trading. So just like have like a a um, a stock stock bot that follows like Nancy Pelosi's husband and like the top five people that or top ten, you know, that like they always get it right and shit. And you create a company called uh, Insider, it's like I N S D R Insider. Or it might be too spot or called Market M R K T. But the whole point is they invest it's like a bot, as soon as they invest in something, the bot follows and buys the same thing they bought, maybe not the same amount of options, stock, 
you know, points, but buy the same thing or sell the same thing. Yeah. And then, I, I don't know, I thought of that when I was really high on um, nitrous, and I was just like, damn, that's actually, so I was watching a YouTube video, and it was talking all about how, like, all these people, like, they have, like, basically they're cheating the stock market and stuff. I was like, wow, well, because it's public record, once they buy the stock, it's public record, so you can have a buy that follows these people, a tracker, and then it just bets on the same thing that they do. So you just follow, you're just following their fucking, their, their stock things. What do you think? I know, like, they're, they're, you guys think that's a good idea? Do you think that's a good idea? Dude, there's a there's a reason. It's called insight insider. Yeah, I N S D R. The steward, like now she's doing like commercials for like you know for like dirt you know like had the right oh, yeah. had the right miracle to, grow organic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. She you know she's trying to she's trying to uh, she's trying to have a green thumb you know. No, she always did like some planning stuff. She had that show about like planning stuff and making shit out of pine cones and hot glue and whatever. <laughs> She's always doing crafts and stuff. Well, that seems on brand with her. At least she's not selling, like, she, I mean, she's you know, ten, she's, alcohol or something. She's tending to her garden. Well, she's been hanging out with Snoop, so I think, you know, she might be growing something else now. <laughs> she might she might have switched up the cabbage in the fucking patch. She's growing that good. She's growing that good good now. I bet she, she smoked weed with Snoop on... Some show or something they fucking smoke together. Was it, was it uh, Snoop Dogg? The first, yeah, well, they have the, a show together. He, on, on a, he, like, he was a dude who, like, was the first person to smoke weed on Huffington Post. Oh, that might be. I know there were, like, some of the first people to kind of talk about smoking weed and stuff with the chronic and, and shit. Then, and then Joe Rogan started doing stuff like that. And... Joe Rogan. You and your weed, Joe, and your isopod. I was in my sensory deprivation chamber and I had this idea. What if we're all connected? Hey, in, in the in the in the deep. What? No, we're not. We're not. Um, we're, you know, on the surface, we're islands, but we're connected at the deep. Oh, well, islands are connected underneath the water. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. Look like islands. That's a good shot. But we're all connected to well, I tried to talk my friend into coming out tonight, but he has so much anxiety about this bar for some reason because, like, sometimes it's crowded and stuff, and it's like trips him out to be around a lot of people or something. It's super dumb. I came in here. Uh, I tried to talk him into coming. I don't have any money for any alcohol right now. I just, I just switched my meds, so now I'm on the Oh, is that better for you, then? Yeah, but what are you just drinking? Coke? Yeah, I don't, man. Don't they give you free Coke stuff? I uh, yeah. I, I'm going from like zero to one hundred real quick. What, what are you taking? Like well future or something? Uh, what? What? Yeah, I can't. That's a generic name for it. I can't remember. Uh, this guy, uh, this guy Jay, I know they they had him on Cyprexa. Put him on Cyprexa. He's like psychotic. It worked. It worked. I'm on pause. It worked a lot. He was a lot better than Hawkeye. He was like a space cadet. Like he was just like kind of a kind of like a space cadet. Paranoid schizophrenic and stuff, so it's like long TV talking, but like always like it's a different person or something. Just switch into different kind of people or different characters or whatever. I'm trying to do that professionally. That's called acting. Actors can turn it off and have control of what they're doing. They're not really like they don't really think they're the people or whatever. I guess if you're a method actor, you can. Dif- different people. Some people, they do, like, really hard acting roles and they can't get out of the, that mindset. Like, Keith Ledger, when he was the Joker. Oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah. They said he had trouble, like, yeah, being the Joker, like, fuck with him, I guess. And I've heard other people do, like, method acting where they actually get on drugs or something. It's hard to get off. Like, no shit. Shit's addicting, especially when you're a fucking actor. You have, like, you know, seemingly unlimited money, you know? 
you're doing well. Like that Johnny Depp, you can afford to do medical grade hair when you know, whatever. That's what uh, Keith Richards, Richards says. He said, you don't have to worry about Heather Long's you're doing medical grade hair when you see good it doesn't affect you the same. You know, it's not getting the shit off the street and stuff. This guy. I guess he does. I mean, he's from the Rolling Stones, so he doesn't know it. He's got the good shit. Do you think this beat sounds like something I'm, like I'm trying to I'm trying to find the right spot to do a music video for it? What's the song called? Uh, I'm still I'm still coming up with a name with the word. Kind of jazzy reggae, funky. Yeah, it's cool. cool. You got any lyrics on it yet? Or? No, not yet. It'd be, it'd be kind of cool to like. You make your own beat? No. Are you paid someone or you just find yeah, them online? I've, 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 or do you use AI now or what? <laughs> AI now. You just... Yeah, we're, yeah, Drake. <laughs> that was total. What he did was totally disrespectful. Oh, uh, what the Tupac one? Yeah. He put Tupac in the back of the record. A verse. He probably knew that people were going to get pissed about it and, like, did it anyway because he knew it was going to get, like, people are going to be that pissed, but it's going to make the news and shit. Well, he, uh, they do, like, calculated risks of, like, a lot of this drama shit, you know? It's like, as much as it, like, might seem like it's... Not, you know, like, oh, that's, that's going to affect him. He's probably going to sell more, you know, and then he released a song that day. And people, you know, brought a bunch of attention to the song. And he's, you know, probably sold but shitloads I, of I will say, Kendrick Lamar's verse, not not like us, outsold Drake's song by a lot. All oh, right, that says something. Um, it's at, it actually, I don't know. It's, it's like top ten streaming Honestly, I don't. I don't like this song too much, but I think the hype. Of it. I think people just like it because it's like a Drake because it's dissing someone or something. It's like it's a Drake diss song. Ugh. Or when something really new comes out too. People want to be like right on like. Oh, I like all the new shit too, so they want to bump up. You know that like Drake is like the most called musician in the in Indiana? Yeah. I didn't know in Indiana. I thought you were going to say in the world or something. No. In Indiana? It's not, it's not the same in every... I place. bet Eminem's probably the most in Michigan. Because he's from Detroit, but I don't yeah. know. I'm just guessing. No, or ICP. They have a huge cult following. The people that love ICP are like... Fucking, you know, they... Die hard ICP fans, you know, that I, there's tattoo, actually, there's actually a guy who used to, um, he used to do, uh, not, he used to run sound over a beer now. That probably might be You know what I'm talking about? Probably, I've met a few of those guys, I can't remember all of them. I, my, I had a couple bands that played over there too, but I can't remember. It's, uh, there's one guy named, like, Sound guy, is that sound guy? It's been a while. There was some guy in like a ponytail and he had like a goatee. Maybe he was in a of miles. I thought there was Danny Miles. Oh, that, that was like years ago. Yeah, I don't know. Might be goatee other people now. Fun coming up this summer. Uh, I'm trying to write more music, trying to come out with a new project. 
kind of put a finishing touch on the last box. They call my biggest challenge. My biggest life challenge is volume one. You posted your stuff online? Yeah, like I. Spotify and Facebook? Not, not uh, yet. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it back on there. I'm going to throw that to go soon. Like distro Kid or anything? Yeah. Yeah. Distro Kid is usually. Do you like Distro Kid? They're great. Yeah, they, they'll even get your accounts verified. And. Even on sound, like if, you're, if you pay for a sound file service, they like they they'll show your music to audiences. Sometimes it just puts you on just random playlists that are like botted or something. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard, I watch a YouTube video. Of somebody's account got canceled from her, <laughs> and their Spotify account got canceled because of Distro Kids. They got put in one of those playlists or whatever, and the playlists are like botted. I know, I saw that shit like all the way from the other side. It like fucked up his like Spotify account or something because they detected like. Because I guess for like the big songs, it doesn't affect the punch because then they get enough like regular traffic. Like it's got to be over 80 percent like like views that are legit or something. They went and then like 20 percent fell stuck. I think 20 percent botted yeah. shit because they even know that like yeah, there's gonna be like the like the whole like sound hot like bot farms for like music and stuff's crazy like. You know, like, oh, you pay for 100,000 plays. Yeah, look at Beyonce. They have, like, well, they have, they have a bunch of phone farms in, like, India and different countries that are, like, on the site. They just, like, autoplay, like, whatever song it is, like, over and over. They have, like, all these phones stacked up. Like, I've seen, like, some YouTube videos about some of these places where they do that. And that's how some of these songs get so popular. But the problem is if you're a small person and then they put you on one of these bot playlists that are botted, then you're not getting enough organic views, so then like Spotify sees it as like a botted thing, so then they flag it or you know, restrict your thing or something. So I'd say like some of those playlists can be bad. I, I heard from some people like it can not be Yeah, bad. I don't, I don't like views aren't I don't like, like bots anyway because it's, it's not going to help you figure out where to go for a show. Yeah. Or you know, it's not going to. It's not really not helping. Real to, it's not, not real really people. helping to grow your following. It just makes it look like that. But you the know, thing is, having those fake views though, it can help you get more shows because people think you got a buzz or something. Or like, there was this other guy who watched a YouTube video on him, and his whole thing was he got big from body views. But they, he bought it so many views that didn't, he get made it to like the top of the list. So the views were becoming organic, and becoming real views. So then he was able to get like shows and stuff. And it looks like, you know, people were showing up because they'd seen, you know, because of the thing. But I mean, yeah, I, I guess it works for some people, obviously, but it can also backfire and bite you in the ass. I mean, well, that Beyonce and the country songs you didn't really play like, I don't have. I don't, well, I'm, all of the record companies and stuff, a they all bought music stuff to make their songs like to the top of the charts and shit. They like, supposedly they have like these like farms and phone phone farms where they fucking farm views for videos, social media shit, whatever. You know whether you're one of the there's websites where it's like oh you want a hundred thousand views on your Instagram shorts or you know whatever YouTube video. Or, so many subscribers or something, you know, and it you know, gives you the number. But they're not like real. There's a lot of those. What's the. So you haven't posted anything online yet? I have. Why, why not? I have one song. I, I took a bunch of songs down because I was trying to remake them. They're like older or something? I mean, they just, happy with them. And I, I kept changing because I kept finding stuff wrong with it. Sometimes it's gotta like, it's good enough, yeah. let it go, move on to the next project. I, I've come, to, well, I've come, I've almost gotten to a point where this project, it, it's, Perfection it, be it's like as close to being a, it's, clo it's yeah. as close to being a masterpiece as I'll be able to do. Yeah, you say sometimes you can get on, be, you can be a, uh, being perfectionist, like, there's like the guy who spends, you know, so much extra time making everything precise and perfect, and there's like the guy that's like Jean-Michel Basquiat making like, 
you know, a hundred paintings a day, and, you know, he's, you know, or Picasso or something that, like, made so many, you know, maybe some of this stuff's, like, scribbles and little things, but he's, like, producing, like, a large volume of work, you know, there's different mindsets. I don't know, I'm not trying to say one is better than the other, but different schools of thought or whatever. Yeah, I have a, I have a friend who, he, like, he, like, does, like, super trippy. Like, like you would see like you'd say, you'd see like worms with like eyes and stuff. Worms, but worms don't have eyes. That's crazy. Yeah. Potatoes with eyes. Looking at me, stop. You've been optometrist dream. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. Do you like have you ever heard of Kill Tony podcast? Do you like comedy, any comedy podcasts or fun comedy stuff? Not, 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 not a while. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? Movie? Right now, uh, let's see. Uh, like if I had to go like buy a ticket. Because uh, my favorite, I don't know, like Dave Spell's up there for sure. I like Pat Oswalt. I was thought he was funny. Always kind of talks about some nerd stuff. I like uh, Brian Cossain, Zach Galifianakis. I like Louis C.K. Funny. I like. I, I need to. I, I'm kind of like. like I, 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 know, I know. a lot. I heard them. Like you know, Rappel, blonde hair. He's been doing some acting too. Yeah, like, like some pretty good but, acting. But movies and comedy, I, I, need, I need to watch more. Anybody hit the dance floor yet? Somebody's gonna have to go get wild out there. There's nothing more sad than being the first person on the dance floor. Like, hey, where's everybody at? Someone's gotta like break, like start the dance scene. No one's dancing tonight, bro. Yeah. It's always better when there's more people because you can kind of like blend in more and hide a little bit. Shovel. I don't know if I'm dancing or just trying to get to the bathroom. I don't know. See, and that's what starts it. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. That's a good one to start with. Yeah, usually there's like one person that's like. They've had enough drinks. They started drinking at 8 p.m. or whatever. Like, I'm on this fucking dance floor. Why ain't anybody else out here? Shit, right? Mom. I'm driving. <laughs> Are you guys going to Ball State during the summer too, or doing summer classes, or just still here? Or what? I graduated on the rent. Just waiting out the rest of your rent. It does help pretty much, yeah. Might as well. Where did you find a job? Be better than going back and being at your parents' house or wherever. Like probably. Yeah, I'm guessing. My old home ain't there either. My mom, she moved to Costa Rica. Oh shit. Yeah, no, there's no home in Fort Wayne. It's Holy cool. cow. Is she loving it down there? She's enjoying it. Is it a lot cheaper in Costa Rica then, or what? Is it a lot cheaper to live there? No. No? No. Shit, no. no. yeah, all right. Like, it is if you're living in like, Maybe I'm thinking of Puerto Rico. You go to the other, go to the other Rico. If you go to, like, the Chatter area in Costa Rica, I'm like, sure it's way Oh, yeah, she's like at resorts or something. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there's some locals. Yeah, go to the local spot or some local Airbnbs or something. That's kind of, that's where she stays. She's just been going to Airbnb to Airbnb to travel. She doesn't even have a place. That's cool. The thing about Costa Rica, you could probably, you know, do you even need a passport to go there? Or what? Yeah, you need a passport. Oh really? Because it's considered a U.S. territory, but I've been there. You could do you need to have? I do they stamp your passport? Yeah, they do. Oh they really? Stamp my passport. Yeah. I've only been there once. It's bad. Because I went, I remember going to Puerto Rico back in the day before. I think it was before. Might have been before 9/11 or something, but um, 
I don't even think I had a passport to go to Puerto Rico. They didn't, I know. I think now you have to have one, but that would make sense. 9/11 changed everything. Yeah, you didn't used to have to have a passport to go to Mexico or Canada either. I remember just going to Canada and shit. You, know, you just look at your ID, your driver's license, or something. Now I, I think you have to have it now. Oh, yeah. I've been down to Tijuana a few times, down in Mexico, that's pretty fun, and uh, then at the end of last year I went down to Mexico City for a few weeks, and then I went down to Colombia, like to Medellin, and uh, it, was, it was cool, it was alright, um, I got a little too drunk one night with a couple local, uh, like, kind of like local uh, prostitute chicks, like three chicks, and drinking Jack Daniels on the street and shit, and I think they put something in my, I was like letting them drink with my my drink, which is real dumb, like you don't want to share drinks with like random people you don't know, especially down there, it's like they would put some shit in your drink or something, and I think they like spiked my drink, and then like one of the chicks started trying to give me head in the park, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing, but when she, she pulled my pants down to do it, and I'm like, oh, that's weird, and then when she did, she was like, I didn't notice later, but she'd taken my cell phone and my wallet out of my pocket, like, and I even think I had my shit zipped, and I still, like, you know, like, I didn't notice it or something. She was like, I don't know, she was, like, sucking my dick while she was doing it, so I was kind of like, oh, a little distracted, I guess, but. Yeah, she got you. Yeah, and it was the S23 Ultra. It was, like, expensive phone. I was, luckily, I I didn't know it, but my mom, I guess, had, had insurance on the phone through our, like, through Verizon or whatever, so I ended up being able to get another one for, like, 280 bucks, but. A lot better than a lot better thirteen hundred, or I think I got an open box from Best Buy for like a thousand. So I guess I could have replaced it for a thousand. You know, two hundred eighty is way better than a thousand. Yeah, but I did. I tried that juicy shit though that they call like pink cocaine or something. But it's mostly ketamine. That shit was like, but they call it two C down there. It's like this pink powder shit. Yeah, they. I saw I saw a thing on Vice about it. So I was like, the girls all down there, they all love that shit. Like they don't like doing. The, most of the chicks there, they don't do coke. They do this tushy shit. So I was like, I'll fucking try it. You know, they're all doing it. Whatever. And I so I took like a fucking key bump of that shit. And I'm like. God, it was just like mostly ketamine. I was just like, just like, I was fucking songed out for like three hours. They say it's supposed to be like a little bit of like MDMA and like some poly. And it's supposed to be a little coke and a little like fucking ketamine. This shit was just mostly ketamine though. Like, like I didn't get any like trippy feelings or anything. I don't know. I thought it was like going to be like mostly poly or something. I was just song out yeah i mean if you do it all the time and you're used to it then you know that's what you're getting you know what you're signing up for but and it probably doesn't affect you as much if you've got developed like a tolerance to it and stuff but a lot of the chicks they love that shit i don't know they're all like doozy 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 like all the fucking little bar girls and shit they all love that shit well they might want you to do it so they can fucking rob your ass too the chicks down there are a lot more sketchy, like robbing your ass and stuff. They're a lot more like, obviously I got robbed. Like, <laughs> but I'm lucky I didn't get like stabbed or something too. Or something. I don't know. Kidney transplant. Oh yeah, shit happens down there all the time. I guess they said that just I heard that just like three tourists had just gotten like drugged and overdosed or something like earlier that week or something. Happens prior. You went to Cancun? I didn't go to Cancun, but I saw it. The dude is a great dude. He's a great player and died. Yeah. And we were like, fuck, we're going to be there right now. That's crazy. <laughs> Everywhere down there, though, they love drinking this stuff called Agua Dente, and it's like this licorice flavored, like, liquor. It's like a, it tastes like anise or something. Like, yeah, it kind of tastes like Jägermeister, but it's clear. It's got Agua Dente. Yeah, it's like a clear kind of like, like a licorice schnapps kind of shit, but it's real strong. And like, that's like kind of a local drink there. Oh my God. It gets you fucked up, but I just don't really like licorice. Like, I don't really like Jaeger in that flavor much. But. 
They just love drinking that shit. Like, it's kind of, you can get whiskey and stuff too. That shit down there, it's a lot cheaper too, that stuff. Like, you can get just like a pretty good sized bottle for like a couple bucks or something. Well, especially if you're know, trying to save some money and shit. If you're going to stay there for like a few weeks, you would kind of like pace yourself. Yeah, might as well get cheaper. You're not going to get a beer. It was pretty fun. I would go back. I want to next time I go. I think I want to check out Bogota because there's. I heard there's more. What was? I went to Thailand and Southeast Asia earlier last year and India. But um, in Thailand, there's. It's easier to meet other tourists and there's other people there that can meet to like they speak English and like there's quite a few Thai people that speak English if they deal with tourists a lot or or they went to school and learned English or something. But it. Colombia, the people that speak English is very few and far between. You definitely, I'm using like Google Translate a lot. There's a lot of times too, people are like, put your phone away, put your phone away. It's not safe to have your phone out. So I do live streaming. I have my phone out like, like live streaming everywhere I go and stuff. So they're like, you know, put your phone up and shit. Like, I, they said that a lot there. I guess there's a lot of muggings and shit. Or they, they'll run right by on like a motorbike and just like take your phone off the selfie stick or something. Keep driving. Whatever, snatch and grab kind of thing. Yeah. But then again, I mean, I guess at least I got a free blow job out of my phone getting my phone installed. <laughs> I didn't finish, but there was like some security guy over there. I was like, eh, that's maybe not a good idea. What are you doing? People like to party down there for sure, though. It was like. The music's really good. I just got really tired of hearing, like, uh, they listen to a lot of, like, reggaeton and shit down there. Like, everything's fucking, like, reggaeton mostly. Like, you get so here, tired of hearing that. Like, all the fucking time. Oh, I'm got so See, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. I, we went on a couple of these, like, tricky like buses where it's like the bus is all painted with like different colors and it looks cool and shit kind of like you know I don't know they use different bright colors kind of make it look more like tribally or something I don't know make it look probably for the tourists I guess but you get on these buses and like oh cheap drinks cheap drinks but then they you can't like they take you like maybe one bar that for like an hour or something you're just on the bus like hanging around they drive you the mountains and like the middle of nowhere, so like, oh my god, dude, I was so bored. Like, let me get the fuck off this bus. There's nowhere to go to the bathroom. Like, and then we go to this place, and it's all these people trying to sell you shit. Like, all the places they stop, it's like little strategic places where there are all these water and beer vendors. Yeah, little tourist traps and stuff. I wouldn't recommend those, like, the booze cruise things. They're all kind of. We went on one with a boat that was kind of okay, but then we were just trapped on a boat for three hours. And it's like, man, like, after it got dark, we're sitting out in the, like, middle of the water for, like, 30 minutes, like, because they didn't want to waste a bunch of gas, so they just drive you, like, far out, you know, quite, quite a bit out, and they're just like, all right, we're just going to cut off the motor and party here for 30 minutes, because they don't want to just be driving the whole time. I'm like, wait a minute, they act like it's going to be, like, a tour around the whole island and all this shit, and you're like, around a couple places. yeah, they go to a couple spots, and you're just sitting most of the time. And then there's nowhere off because you're on the fucking boat unless you're going to swim to shore. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend those. But, but yeah, the, it's, it was a good experience, I guess. Pretty fun. Better than staying in Muncie all summer. Like, it's cheap as fuck to get down to, like, Cape Cuso down from here. It's like maybe you can get a t- ticket to Cape Cuso for, like, $60, $80. It's not bad. And you can find cheap hotels. Like, there's expensive hotels, but there's also, like, $20 a night hotels and stuff that aren't too crazy, aren't too bad. They're not as nice as the fucking expensive ones, but it's 20 bucks a night. Yeah, just read the reviews to see if, like, people are saying, like, oh, there's cockroaches or something. Yeah, we went to Florida, like, two years back, and there was roaches in the place. Nah, them just some palmetto bugs. <laughs> they try to say they're palmetto bugs. My, my cousin was down there. She's like, I was like, you got cockroaches all in your, all in your bathroom. She's like, that's your palmetto bugs. I'm like, I look up no. online. I'm like, palmetto bugs? Are they cockroaches? Like, yes, German cockroach, fly cockroach. Like, yeah. your house, 
infested. Tell us if anything to say it's not infested. Yeah. Like, they, they, the weather and the humidity down there is just crazy for cockroaches. It's too easy. Like, it's a prime place. Yeah, the heat, the humidity, the temperature. They, it's like Los An I went to Los Angeles and lived there for a while. Like, there's way more cockroaches in LA, but there's a lot more rats in New York. So it just kind of depends on <laughs> choose your advice. I want, uh, New York in the summer, uh, there's always bags of trash everywhere, and like, oh, let's go walk around Little Italy. There's always like stinky ass bags of trash everywhere, and it's kind of Chinatown too. So it's like a fish market too. So there's like fish just sitting in these bags, just fucking reeking in the summer. It's 100 degrees out. Uh, it's so nasty. It's like, yeah, hey, let's go walk around Chinatown as a family. And like, no, not so good. <laughs> Yeah, or Times Square. I lived in New York for eight years, so like after I lived there a while, you kind of try to avoid Times Square. Cause it's like maybe go there with your family or friends or something if they're out of town. Or What's up? There we go. Well, I'm listening to someone. Hey, good to talk to you. I'm Josh. Logan. Logan, nice to meet you. I'll probably there. see you here. Yeah, there's not there. much to do in Muncie. So. I'll probably see you here. Not too many places to go around here. Yeah, not really. Maybe Chipotle. I'll see you I down at Chipotle. I don't know, how did you about like Elm Street or The Guardian or like... Uh, I don't know. Uh, Mr. 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 They used to be Chance. pickled peach. Pickled peach. Is that still out there? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't been in those other places. I think there's a place called Three Kings. I drove by it a bunch, but I never went there. That's like right down by the Marriott. Yeah, down by the paper. The Star Press or whatever. Down by the train tracks. Out here. Damn, the barn. I mean, there's not a lot of people out here, guys. Look, this is what we're dealing with. There's pretty much... So I was trying to tell my friend he's, like, tripping out about coming to the bar. Like, oh, my God, my anxiety or something. There's so many people at Brothers. I'm like, there's probably not going to be fucking anybody here. Because it's, like, school's over. Like, you know, and he's, like, making a big deal about it. Like, like this is such a big deal to come to this bar. Oh, my God. Can you imagine going to the bar where there might be people? Tuesday is known as the slowest bar night. Actually, Monday, too, is pretty bad. Usually, some bars just close on Monday. But, yeah, Tuesdays are pretty bad, too. That's why they have Mug Club, because you get people to show up, have a good discount. They have a good special tonight. Everybody's showing up. The boop, the movie that boop, the booby, the movie that's my boy. Oh man, I did not care for that one. He's over to listening to his own music in the bar. What are you listening to? My own song. Oh okay. Is that you talking? Yeah. Oh shit. Check out this. Show. All right. Nothing but the truth. Yeah, I want it. Knock it out. Yeah, I want it. Not just want it. Nothing but the truth. Yeah, I want it. Do my best and not just run it. Yeah, you should know the truth sets you free. Can it keep you alive? The best you can be. What you don't want, live by the dark track. I'm raising bar, not just in my own act. You want to undergo the night, though? And yeah, I am white. To yourself, to your like. Dragon, I'm going. Has been really psyched. You're white. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were black albino. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I don't know if we. Oh, yeah. Damn. Wow, damn. You're white. Hey, Logan. Hey, what's up? Yeah. 
so far that's what you know hard. about that. That's right. Check out young Darius when he's ready to be checked out. <laughs> when he wants you to look. When he wants you to hear the music, he'll you'll know. When the music's ready, when the you're ready. Yes, less of a player, but more of a man. The way he keeps acting, so you do get smacked. Your game is whack, where your team gets at. Sorry to get back. I see. Party time. It's one thirty. I got it. You rolling out? Yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably about to head out of here. All right, Darius. Good to see you, bud. Keep making your music. Good luck with that. No, nothing but the truth's going to be in a hot song. My my stage. Hold up, dude. Real quick. Okay. So now my now my stage my staging is. Whiter, young Darius. What? Why? Whiter. 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 What did you become an alt right? No, no. Rapper? What happened? You were no. young Darius before. Well, yeah. Now you're whiter. I'm, I'm an now you're whiter. Okay, young so Darius. I feel like Wait I'll blow up quicker with the, with the name Whiter, young Darius. Uh, my ethnicity is entirely European. I don't know if I'd call it. I don't know, young like Darius. I, young Darius was fine. Yeah, but where the, you think you know, people? You know how many other people are already named Young Darius? Oh, uh, a lot. A lot. They're, what yeah, about they're, they're how least, many people? At least like five or six. But why don't you think about the future and be old Darius? Old, <laughs> old Darius. You be old Darius. Nobody's old Darius, right? Nobody wants to be old. You can be old Darius. <laughs> Right? I, I, I hope I hope I didn't rub, I hope I, I I rub you the wrong way with why you're young Darius. So. No, no, it's fine. No, I'm just saying. I just know because white it does sound like a little bit alt right. It's just white, you know. And like when you bring in race, you know, people are gonna like maybe think that. I don't know. Just think about. It. Um, most most people still call me young Darius. So. Young Darius. That's what I you would said for so long. What about? You drop the Darius all together, and you're just something else. Is your I, real name Darius? My middle name is Darius. What's your first name? Michael. Michael. See, my name is Michael Darius Johnson. But if you put your initials together, MD, you're like a doctor. <laughs> but then people are going to be like, are you a doctor? Yeah, that's probably not me. I don't know. It's hard to come up with a good name. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know what about old Darius? Old Darius. That's old Darius. <laughs> Maybe that's, not. that's fucking wild. Come on. Nobody's an I, old pe- thing though. People, it's like young people, thug. Nobody's old thug. You know. People, you, people used to call me. Uh, Everybody I, I used to call Nobody's myself. Big. I used to call Nobody's myself H E diplomat. I used to be corn ninja. Now I'm Burger Planet. Probably better. I don't know. What do you guys think's better, corn ninja or Burger Planet? What do you think? Should I stuck with corn ninja? Bye, Darius. <laughs> You're funny. No, I'm not. I'm not bi though. I'm demisexual. Corn ninja is funny. Oh boy. Corn sumo. Good one. Little wife, whip, weefy. Like they say in like France or something. Little weefy. Cock ninja. Well, that's. I thought that was your name. Oh, uh, that's your name, chat. I wouldn't want to take your. Screen name on AOL. Cock Ninja. Cock Ninja. <laughs> Four twenty sixty nine at AOL. My last, my last com. name is. I'm not trying to be narcissist. My last name is Johnson, though. So like, Ooh. calling myself something that has to do with Mr. Dick, Johnson. Dick, Mr. Jo- You're Mr. Johnson. You have a Mr. Johnson. Is there a Mr. Johnson here? <laughs> Your last name's Johnson. Yeah. Maybe you should do something with that. Your name has Dick on it. 
Mr. John? Why don't you just go by Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. I think that's good. Is there any Mr. Johnsons out there? I don't know. I'm, do I do I have a con? Like, it, does my do, am I basically like a con? I'm not just a condom though. Like, maybe I need a condom. I don't know. Because I'm fucking sit up. Mr. Johnson. Because I'm fucking sit up all the time. So. Oh damn, Mr. Johnson. I know a Harry Johnson. He's schizophrenic. Was a white kid that got bullied. Was a troublemaker as a child. Was misdiagnosed and was put on the wrong medications. Who? How do all these people know me like that? They know you. Is that what? Is that true? They're, they're not wrong. Oh, oh, really? You got misdiagnosed? Oh yeah, I totally got misdiagnosed. Well, they probably don't know. Were you schizophrenic? Though? Yeah. Well, are you, how are you doing with that? You my, med, my meds are working. A lot what if you don't take the meds? Are, well, I, are you kind of spazzed out? I, or what? Yeah, I all of episodes and say that. What of mania or something or what manic episodes? Mostly, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, yeah. Like I, I like I, I, I become like a mindless zombie. Uh, borderline zombie, anyway. Just can't associate with people when you're. Yeah. Mr. Johnson. You like Mr. Johnson? I want to. I want to see how my. See people, if that one's available. I want to see if people what people think about that. I, I don't know because. <coughs> well, if there's already a bunch of. Darius is Mr. Mr. Johnson, you know, it sounds like dick. You can do a lot of songs about your dick, you know? You Mr. Johnson. Like there's this one guy, his name is Mr. Uh, his name is Mr. Pot Scraper, and all his songs have to do about whipping crap basically. And then you know, he just says, I'm Mr. Pot Scraper, like in every fucking song. You can be I'm Mr. Johnson, slinging dick. Like it's smack you on the head with the clover stand. Oh. Gave a bitch three orgasm and said, fuck you. Someone said, I remember you've been making some effort. Maybe I should just call my... My, Michael Derry Johnson is a really fucking long name. I, if what I about could, Mr. Johnson? I'm not entirely a miss. Like, uh, entirely well, you're not a miss. I'm not. What? A, a Mr. Johnson just sounds cool, though. You can't just be Johnson. You gotta be something. John. I just think maybe Mr. Johnson's not right, but something with Johnson might be an avenue you might want to think if you have that as your last name. And a lot of songs are about dick and shit. So having a name, yo, it's Mr. Johnson. Uh, maybe about, I, maybe about ready maybe to maybe educate be, you maybe, fools. Maybe I'd be alright with being called Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson? <laughs> Mike Cox probably taking <laughs> Mike Cox. Big Johnson? Yeah, Big Johnson. Big Johnson. Big Johnson. This is Big Johnson, not Little Johnson. Big Johnson. Little Johnson didn't I come know. out. I, I, don't, I, I don't have a 7-inch dick. I don't have like a... Dick. That's pretty good, though. <laughs> That's good, then. Is 7 inches good, chat? You don't want to be Junior Johnson, yeah. Junior Johnson sounds worse. Junior Johnson. <laughs> oh, medium, TM. <laughs> Save it for the raps. <laughs> Smacking you with seven inches of Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson slap you across the head with like, damn, I hope. What's up with the AstroTurf wall? They got these walls installed because there were so many shootings across the street at the gas station. So they put these walls up. I don't know. I guess hopefully to just I'm glad protect they did. their... No, it, it keeps people... Because people used to go Oh, and people fights. would jump. Oh, yeah, they jump the fence. People would jump the fence, too. And, and they, you know, like, that's... Yeah. But then you get drunk people that are, like, picking at the wall and ripping this shit off. But I guess they can fix it. But w will they? They finally do something nice, and people are like, oh, tear it off the wall. This is great. Fucking dumb, drunk idiot. Like, eh. Could have been just one person one night do that. 
some people just want to destroy things. If some people want to create, they want to build something, and some people just want to tear things down and destroy shit. You know, there's the kid that like make, wants to build the Lego tower, and there's, you know, your older brother, little brother, just wants to come in and like Godzilla crush your shit, you know? Two different mentalities in the world. Creators and destructors. Uh-oh, what is this? Long ass message. Probably need to ban him. Just based on how long that message is, I'm guessing this is some psycho fucking weirdo. Chad, what happened to that message? Ban him or... The mods, did you get them mods? What's up? Storm's in here, we got some extra mods in here. <laughs> Hitting Marlboro Reds out the bong. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, that probably make me want to vomit. Fucking puke after that. That's crazy, I've hit tobacco out of a bong before, but not, I didn't stick a cigarette in there, but about the same thing. Oh, I've hit the, uh, that Tok Lao in fucking Vietnam, they take bong hits of fucking tobacco there. It's crazy, dude. They take like straight tobacco steamroller bong like rips to the dome there. It's crazy. You ain't say anything bad. Alright, Google Gangster things. Oh shit, dude. Dude, uh, cut, bro. Bro, are you posting this in a fucking. Is this a fuck. Dude, is this a comment or a scene, bro? What the fuck is that? I can't read that, bro. What is that? Fucking get a photocopier and make it seem, bro. What the fuck? Nobody reading that. Put little pictures of like the Pope and shit on there with devil eyes and some cool little skateboard things. Draw over some shit with whiteout. Throw a little Dyna tape on some shit. You can make your own zine, bro. It's a twit longer. <laughs> That was funny. Hey, quit calling people artards. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to step away from that. That's not nice. I'm trying to step away from that. That bad. Bad vibes. So just hanging out. Just me hanging out. Just cool. Cool Mo Burger doing cool burger things. You know me, son. Oh, and now Dave's saying, hey, man, I wish I would have came out. He's like, how many people there? I was like, I said at the most there was 50 people here earlier probably when I first walked in. Maybe 60. Oh, there's quite a few tables that had people. Most of the tables were filled people, but you can get like six people on each table. I said about 50 people. I said there's about 30 people here now. You know, and he's like, wow, that's, a, that's about the right amount of people. Yeah, man, I fucking told you to come over here. You know, being a fucking baby and get out and do something. <laughs> Sitting at home drinking by himself. Being a fucking loser. I'm bored too, I ain't got nothing to do. I thought you were leaving, what's good? Any hotties in there? You, so you come to this place pretty often. Do you ever, like, pull girls' numbers or get some digits or anything around no, here? Or what? Do you try or what? You try to talk to any of these women or what? They're all so young. Well, I'll fuck it. Well, that's why you're old Darius or you're old Mr. Johnson. Old Mr. Johnson. <laughs> how old? That's funny. You think they're so much younger than? How old are you? You don't seem that. You don't look that old. How old are? You? What's? Why do you think you're too old? How old are you? Like, what's your age right now? What? How old are you? about to be 35 this year. I'm 42 and I'm out here. I don't know. I don't really worry about it. I mean, everybody here is a 21, so I don't know not too many places to go and do stuff late at night. And what else are you going to do? got to go to a bar or stay home. I, my friend Dave, he wouldn't come because he thinks we're too old for this bar. He always says, I was like, why? Because there's actually hot girls there and shit. It makes him uncomfortable. He has like... Zero game. 
makes them uncomfortable like talking to beautiful women or something. I mean, I don't know, get out. I think it just comes with practice talking to people and just in general. Because I think a lot of people use social anxiety as an excuse to not like put themselves in out there to not do stuff like oh I have social anxiety I have this and that they give themselves like an excuse you know you you have some stuff you know you said you had some things you were trying to work out or whatever whatever everybody's got like everybody's got little quirks and shit you know so I don't think everybody's like oh I'd like to lose five ten pounds maybe or you know wish I was a little taller girls wish their tits were bigger yeah. you know or they wish their ass was bigger guys wish they had a bigger dick or a nice car you know what it is you know what i'm saying you can be self conscious maybe your hair is gray or going bald or you know what i'm saying there's a million reasons to be insecure i would just say don't fucking worry about it. most of the shit that you're like worrying about other people thinking about is like just in your own head you know most people probably like i'm not really looking at people and judging them like oh what the fuck are they doing you know like some people do that at bars and places but who gives a fuck, you know? If you don't know about it, it doesn't really affect you anyway, so. But chances are people probably aren't judging you. It's just all in your head. You're just like, my friend, I think, just kind of, like, perpetuates his own, like, paranoias and his own insecurities, you know? It's like, I don't think, because he got hit by a car, so right now he has to have a walker. He's like, I feel like a cripple, like with my thing like I don't I'm like do you think people are gonna make fun of you or something bro like if anything you're probably gonna get more girls coming up to you talking to you asking you what happened or how you got hurt or and you got a cool story like I got hit by a car like it's fucking crazy like I don't know it's like if anything I'd fucking milk that shit I think it's you know it's not like I don't think people are like oh look at that loser in the wheelchair like that guy sucks you know what I, you're like my friend Dale, like, yeah look at that guy in a walker what a fucking loser you know what I mean like yeah. who's saying that like nobody's saying that you know? but like in his mind he think that's what he's thinking you know it's like people are making fun of me they think I'm stupid they think I'm, it's like no one's thinking that bro except for you you're just like fucking coming up with fucking I don't know I just, I will say, like, I, I wish, I wish my family would understand that, like, my role in the world is to love the world, including with tough love, and I want to be believed in. And my family's reaction to me saying I want to be believed in is like, well, who gives a fuck? Yeah, my parents really don't understand me. Hell, <laughs> most of the time I don't understand my, me either, I guess. But just try and do their best, I guess. So, what now? Oh, is Darius going over? Oh, they, Darius knows these girls? Hey, Darius, how are you? They know them. Introduce me to your friends, bro. I'm fucking just sitting here. Hey, Darius. No, it's Mr. Johnson. Fuck. He knows the hot girls, and we're not, we're not, we're just sitting over here. I'm going to be like, yo, introduce me. What up? You guys know Darius? I'm Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah Darius. She, she serves. She serves. Darius comes to the cafe I work at. Oh, that's cool. Too, so nice. I used to be my, a server. My dad actually lives in Las Vegas. Do <laughs> you make pretty good tips? And, and, I, and I've been nice. to. And I've been to. I went to school in NYU. Yeah, well, boy, anyway. Yeah, yeah. But you have to have the animal. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about it. Yes. Did you always pay your grandma? But I found, like, another meal from here. Well, let's go. That was hot chicks. It didn't work out so well. Let's go over here and cry. Where's Dave's fucking... Where's the walker, man? We could use the walker right about now. I need... I need something. Give me some help. Being an only child explained why I can't talk to anybody. Well, you were, like, in school, right? Didn't you socialize with people and... School. I mean, that's one of the reasons we go to schools to like force people to socialize and force people to like practice 
living in a society scenario interacting with people do I have game? no 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 I'm just hanging out with my home homies Well, it's just that new Beyonce song, isn't it? I was gonna 
guess I can see. <laughs> Chat, what's up, man? Cause I'm pole vaulting all the time. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, motherfucker, we pole vaulting. <laughs> Are we? Are we pole vaulting? Bro, I'm pole vaulting. Cause I'm pole vaulting. No more fuck shit. No more bullshit. So, I, f I feel like you, you can help me with some ideas, ideas for, you know, like marketing stage names. Maybe. I could do my try. Okay, so, how would you market the name M MDJ? Mr. Johnson. Get me Mr. Johnson. I think Mr. Johnson's the way to go on that one. They call me Mr. Johnson. I mean, if my name was, if my last name was Johnson, I'd use Johnson in the name. Cause like, that's just funny. Cause then, I don't know, why not just play on that? You know? Have you heard that song? Like, my dick bigger than the house. Your dick look like a Minnie Mouse. My dick. <laughs> yeah, I can't, yeah. I look like Billy Ocean. Your dick. Like, I don't know, but that song, like, oh, Bill, Mi Mickey Avalon, he made a whole song about his dick, you know, and it was a huge, it's just kind of a funny song, it's got a good beat, you know, you can play up something like that, you know, it's Mr. Johnson, I'm telling you about, you know, I don't know, a song, some, maybe not like that or something, but I don't know, you could play on the fact that the Johnson, I think that's definitely, like, something to write about, you know, my Johnson. <laughs> do, you think, do you think a guy named Mr. Johnson would ever get tips for, like... I mean, there's a guy called fucking Afro Man. There's a guy called whatever, you know. I think if people like the song and shit, you know. Look at a lot of some of the names of these guys. Diplo and stuff. What the fuck's Diplo? I don't know, but he's that's his brand. He's called Diplo, and he's makes music, you know. It's whatever. Because, uh, I, I mean, part of it, like, the other day I was thinking, you know, like... <laughs> do a dick rap. <laughs> My name is Mr. Johnson. I do all di dick sent... Dick centric raps. It's all Dick centric. Dick centric. <laughs> Cock centric. Cock centric rhymes. <laughs> My rhymes are circumcised, but I'm not. <laughs> no, actually, I am. <laughs> I keep it clean. I would... Oh, Lord. A. <coughs> it's locals only tonight. Mr. What do you guys think's the best name? What do you guys like, Mr. Johnson, Old Darius, Old Darius? Corn ninja, somebody's corn ninja now. <laughs> Damn it, bro. Well, I can't rebrand now. Shit. Now we got you gotta you know, catch it. I, I, was hey. trying, I was trying to do a dice roll. CeeLo. Yeah, be careful on the dice roll because it looks like something else. Yeah. <laughs> looks like you're doing a shake weight or something. <laughs> Look at your jerk. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing the dice roll. Okay. I played C low before, too. Yo, it's like a dice roll on my life. It's like a dice roll. I'm in the alley playing C low, hanging with old Darius. Out here being cantankerous, out getting swayzy, hanging out. I just wonder how many people yeah. out there named Young Darius? Old, old Darius? Old Darius. Old Darius. <laughs> Fuck Young Darius. That was the old me. I'm old Darius now. <laughs> Matured. I <laughs> like a fine scotch. I've aged. I'm barrel aged. Delicious. <laughs> what about midlife Darius? Midlife Darius. Midlife Darius. 
<laughs> Midlife Terry is coming at you. Yo, up next, yo, motherfuckers, give it up for Midlife Darius. Midlife Darius. Yeah. I gotta lose this weight though. Like I am. If you got enough money, hot chicks will still fuck you if you're fat. It's just not up to you're my You're just going to have to work a lot harder. You're going to have to work hard in the gym or just in life. wonder where they are. Are they money-wise? Something, yeah. Anyway, I'm out. I'm out to get drink. All right, man. We'll come by and hang out later if you want. There goes old Darius. All right. bother with a DJ tonight. <coughs> I think actually they might have had a DJ. He getting paid to just do nothing tonight. He's playing like he's playing like fucking just a playlist. You don't even have to do anything. Phone it in tonight. That's crazy, dude. They need summer DJs and shit too. So. Hang on with oh there. I should have put some deodorant on. I just showered this morning. I woke up in the middle of the night and decided to take a shower. It felt dirty. Put the odor back on. Smelling a little right. Just one of my armpits. I don't know. Probably depends on which arm I'm holding things in my arm. Stop taking these skits of man. Oh, yeah, this one guy, he's always walking the streets late at night, dude. If you talk to him, he's all right, but he'll walk up to you, like, late at night. And it's mad menacing, you know? You see, like, a pretty large man kind of coming up to you late at night, 2 in the morning. <coughs> nobody around. You know, that's, like, mad sketchy, right? I thought it was. I was like, man, that's fucked up. You're walking up on people like that. You might fucking or fuck around and find out and get pepper sprayed or worse. People fucking people carry knives and guns and shit on them. If you're walking around the street late at night, you probably got something on you. I bet, right? Mad Darius. Ooh, Mad Darius. Ooh, I like that. Mad Darius. What about sick Darius? Psycho Darius. What about psycho Darius? To the psychedelic psychedarius dude I think we just found the new I think we might have just found this new name psychedarius what do you think is that good Matt Darius psychedarius we gotta run that Matt we're we'll run Matt Darius by him and psychedarius Psychedarius. Sick, dude. Well, I'm live. I'm at this bar. At least we're doing something. It's not like the greatest thing in the world, but let's not get out of the house. Better than doing nothing, right? Better than being dead. Guess this will do for tonight. I guess it'll have to. Crazy Darius. I like how the whole time he's been here, he literally hasn't bought one drink because they give you free Diet Coke or free, free Diet Coke or free Coke. For designated drivers or something, I guess. But, so he isn't spending any money, he's just hanging out drinking Diet Coke. It's like, well, whatever, he's fucking out. He's spending no money. If anything, he's like 40 chess. 
right? Do you guys think that's an L or is that 4D chess? What do you guys think? Okay, chat type one if it's 4D chess, type two if it is uh, a W. Type one or two. <laughs> Who is that? I'm not one or two. One or two in the chat. <laughs> you knew exactly who <laughs> Get a lot Get a lot more in it. It's a lot of uh, it's a good way to get engagement. I'm just being normal. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? Yes, I'm just being normal. Oh, okay, then carry on. <laughs> if I ask someone, they said they're just being normal. <laughs> you know they're not being fucking normal, right? <laughs> like, isn't a normal thing to say. <laughs> I'm just being totally normal. <laughs> like, this guy's on some shit. <laughs> Right? If, if you agree, type 1. If you disagree, type 2, chat. If you agree, type 1. If you disagree, type 2. What about it? One and two. Ronnie? You un... You vote. I don't know how to count that, Ronnie. Darius, they got some new names. They said... Mad Darius, Mad Darius, or Psychedarius, Psychedelic. like psychedelic, Psychedarius, psychedelic. and you're kind of crazy, so psycho, psychotic, Psychedarius. See, I, use I can see you being on like NSYNC, ICP, because you, you're white, you need to go on the Juggalo circuit, that's going to be your best shot at getting probably a show around here, try to get with the Juggalos, at the gathering of the Juggalos on one of the small tents, and be Psychedarius. They used to when I was in high right? school. They call me. They call me Crazy Mike. Yeah. Crazy Mike. <laughs> well, then just be fucking Crazy Mike. I, well, hey, I, it, fucking Crazy I, I, Mike. I have, I have one. I'm I have crazy one project Mike. where I might go by that. Crazy Mike. Okay. I like Crazy Mike too. Look it. I don't. Crazy, they think, called you Crazy I'm Mike. Thinking, I'm sticking with Young Darius. That's. You got tired of being called Mike, so you're like, I'm gonna be Darius now. No, no, no. I, well, my name is Psychedarius. What about that one? Psychedelic. I'm not that psych trippy. Like I'm more. I'm very like proper. And but it sounds proper. cool. Psychedarius. It does sound really. cool. It has a flow. Psychedarius. It does. Yo, it does. Psychedarius. See, I'm already. That would look might look good on a shirt. You gotta think. That'd be. You gotta think really what your merch awesome. might look like. You know. Yeah. What is? You're gonna have a shirt. You know. You're gonna I, need, I need to do something like what the game. You know, like go shirtless and have a chain, and then like. And, go shirtless. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's. I need to lose this shit, but like. But, uh, Are yeah. you gonna get top surgery? <laughs> no, I'm gonna work my ass off to lose the weight. Oh, uh, do it the right way? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> hard work, dedication, uh, boo. Hard, hard work. Boo. I'm doing <laughs> keto. <laughs> but anyway, uh. But yeah, I, I need to get like some, you know, like next to some rims, you know, like some ghetto fabulous shit. Do you have a car? Yeah, it kind of actually. Like, I, I what kind of car are you riding? Just a Camry. Toyota? Those are nice. Yeah, Toyota. Those are like, they've got a good, they last a long time. How many miles do you have on that thing? Uh, I don't know, like at least five, ten thousand miles on it. At least five or ten thousand on the, on the car? Yeah, yeah that sounds about right. At least five or ten thousand. How many on the odometer? No, okay, my brother likes just constantly likes going on drive. <laughs> so. What? <laughs> At least five or ten thousand. Know, this is brand new. It might be brand new. Maybe you got a new car. <laughs> wow. That sounds nice. Like, dude, my car's got two hundred thirty-five thousand miles on it. <laughs> I didn't even want to bring it up. I was like, oh, well, let's not talk about cars then. 
Five or ten thousand. Jeez. Darius moved over. Dude, we got Darius moved away. The crazy ones make the best music. I thought it was the crazy bitches are better in band. Bed, which is it? Are you guys talking about the snake pit? No. Oh. Where you party in the middle? It's called the snake pit, right? At the curb. Is that the for the race? We're in the party in the middle? No. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the Indy 500, like partying inside the middle of the track. They have concerts. Yeah. Just wear one of those high vis vests and walk in with like a tape measure or something. Like, oh, this guy's official. He's got a tape measure. He must. He's definitely doing. He's got a pencil. Have a clipboard and like one of those high vis jackets. I heard you can sneak in a lot of festivals that way. I haven't done it, but. Look at the jig. You have a clipboard, paper. You'll be in the infield. I'll see you there. Not if I have anything to do with it. I'll see you in hell. What's your name, pal? Michael Dare hits Johnson. They call me Crazy Mike. Because I'm insane. Because I'm loco. What do people call me? They call me Crazy. I'm going to start going about Crazy Josh. They call me Crazy Josh. Because I'm crazy. Ah! Wow! I'm insane! Dave is missing out tonight, huh? Sucks to be him. Schmuck. You blew up, bud. Okay. How cool do you guys think you are on a scale of 1 to 10? Be honest. How cool would you rate yourself? How, how cool do you think you are? Let's say that. 1 out of 10. 6 out of 10. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, dude. 11. Wow, dude. Okay. Jeez. Full of yourself much? 11. Jeez, dude. Easy. How's Dave been doing? He's back to drinking and smoking cigarettes and he would quit for like a couple months and now he's like back to trying to do that shit again. I'm trying to convince him to not get back on all this shit, but he's a fucking stubborn asshole. Won't listen to me. He won't let me control his life like I need to. Make sure he's safe. I need to protect you, damn it. It wouldn't be fun going on a trip with him anywhere. He'd be like wanting to go home and fucking sit in the hotel and watch TV and shit every night. And yeah, some people go on vacation and they spend their whole half the t fucking time in the. You know, besides the time that you're fucking sleeping and shit, they spend half the time in the hotel or the resort. Like, what a waste. You know, that's not giving you any perspective of the place sitting around those places. Go to Cancun and hang out the resort the whole time. Well, if you hang out in the regular. And then the people at the resort will tell you, oh, don't go off the resort, it's dangerous. They try to scare the people into staying on the resort the whole time. It be dangerous off the resort. Stay here. You want to stay on the resort? The prices are all 
little more expensive on their or near their resort too. I don't know. If I go like Costa Rica, I want to experience like go some local places and shit, right? I'm gonna go fucking Let's see what the KFC is down at the food court down here. Ooh, that sounds good. Eat some authentic island food here. Oh, ban that guy. Can one of the mods ban him before he types? We have two minutes to pre-ban him. Two minutes. Can you pre-ban him? Copy and paste. Do you see anybody with that rabbi something name? They always say the same stuff. Just perma-ban the account instantly. Because they just will keep chatting and saying the same fucking thing over and over and over again. Your whole The whole chat would be just those comments if you didn't ban him all the well, if you're driving, don't mess with it. Yeah, so let somebody else. Yeah, don't risk it. It's getting late, Danny. Are you guys from Yorktown or from around the county? Or where are you from? You're from out of town or what? All you guys from Montana? Are you got where are you guys from? Around the two? What? Uh, just like waiting out your lease till the end of the month or whatever. Oh, well, beats like probably staying with your parents for the summer. My parents aren't fun. Where are you from? In around Chicago? That's that's fun. I was thinking about going to Chicago this summer. What's up, big homie? I'm just sitting here hanging out by the fire. Come and hang out with me. I'm so lonely. I was just sitting by the fire waiting for you. Call me now. 1-800-HOT-BURGER. All of our burgers are hot, sizzling fresh off the broiler. Ah, I'm so lonely. Won't you call now? 1-800-HOT-BURGER. 18 or older, 420 a minute. Call now. Why won't you call? What are you waiting for? Don't be shy. It's. I'm so lonely. And horned up. Hot. Did I mention I'm hot? Like. Fire. But not like an STD. Call me now. For your free reading. Call me now. Hello, my darling. It's Miss Clilo. Let me tell you. Yes, my child. Uh, I see many good things in your future there, darling. I think you're going to be doing many great things. Everything's great. Thank you so much, my honey. What are you waiting for? Call now. What a daughter. Hot burger. Exactly like an S. No. Sometimes it burns in your feet. Probably had too much hot sauce or something every day. You know, that's normal. A little bit of leakage. A little bit of the drip. The drip drop. Drip drop. It's given drip drop, drip drop a new name. <laughs> I think I, they, I think I tested positive for gonorrhea once. I had to take this z pack antibiotic pill thing and I got rid of it. <laughs> so far, Ben Johnson. I was watching Mr. Johnson here. Mr. Johnson and me. Mr. Johnson and me. Dave is missing out, guys. Okay, now I had you guys type how cool you thought you were. How cool do you think other people perceive you as? One out of ten. What do people see? What do you think people see you as? When people see you down at the Starbucks or in line at Walmart the sh at the self checkout stand waiting in line to buy your four things of cat food and you know, all this stuff. 
What, a six? A nine? Do you think people think you're a nine? <laughs> a four? Oh, man. Okay, Jim. I have a low self-esteem on Jim. Hmm. Maybe an eight. Damn, Benjamin. Benjamin butthole eyes. Chicks think I'm Zach Morris all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, the kind of girls I like, like AC Slater, A hey, Preppy, whatever Preppy. You sound like a misogynistic pig, Slater. Well then, oink oink, mama. Thailand, it's in. You wish. From Montana. I don't think that guy's from Montana. Maybe. Let's get out of here. What's going on here, bro? When people start yelling. Look at this guy being annoying. He's being annoying to this crew. He acted like he was gonna throw it. That's a sign that do. That's a sign that they do during mating. You know that sometimes the male or the female of the species will kind of irritate or agitate the the other one. It's a form of it's a mating ritual. Here's my sage advice. You know, it takes 47 muscles to smile, but only seven words to say fuck you. What? Go fuck you. Two words to say fuck you. I don't know. I didn't even get the. It seemed alright. It's not very nice. Someone's an asterisk. I can smell it. My aunt's chihuahua, it had to get its anal glands drained or something. It was like, it costs a bunch of money. This guy's like calling people on her phone or something. I really don't like this guy, right? Do you hate him? This guy's like a bully. Why is he messy? Where should I go over there and be like, yo, bozo? It ends now. Give the girl back her phone. It ends now. This insanity ends now. I ever saw what's going on. And I don't like it. Why don't you give the lady back her phone? Slick. When you call somebody slick, that's like calling somebody a goof around here, dude. You call somebody slick? Or hey, bud. If you say hey, bud, listen, bud. You say bud, and they're not your friend? Just fight words, dude. You're fucking. You're gonna stand, stand on God on that shit. Standing on the streets on that shit. Standing on, on everything on that shit. Fucking around, son. Listen, Slick. Listen, Danny. Hey, Danny. Look, I've been in love too, bud. Why don't you say you give the lady back her phone, pal? What do you say? Come on, Chief. Call me, Chief. <laughs> hey, come on, Chief. Don't. Don't. Call me chief. Ah. <laughs> no. No. That's the one thing I can't stand up with. Anybody inside yet? Are you left in there? Are you the DJ or what? Anybody in there? Is there anybody inside the bar? Well, they're probably just playing a pet playlist tonight. 
phoning it in. Yeah, probably just make easy money tonight. Put the playlist on. <laughs> I think it's all right. Everything worked itself out. I think everything's fine, so we don't really have to go. Get involved. I was ready though. Chat, I was so ready. Pull at me. Guys, I'm, I followed this new Instagram account. This is really good. It, it showed up my algorithm because Facebook knows what I would be about and it knows what I would like. And it's called Stick Review. And, well, the name is just as it sounds. People find sticks in the wild, and then they go online to talk about the stick and how it's the best one ever and all of it's different. You know, this one's got like a sharp point here, gets a little thinner here, so it's very aerodynamic and perfect for slicing through the air and the wind, but also has a blunt force so that you could also inflict, inflict blunt trauma you know if you needed to use it as self-defense so this is why this is the best stick review ever yeah it's called stick review stick review yeah it's pretty cool there's some pretty nice sticks on there guys and not some of them are branches i'll be honest some of them are branches when does a stick become a branch you know is it a stick it's not a twig or is it a branch? Branches. You decide. There's a lot of branches being passed off as sticks out there. I'm not happy about it. I just thought you should know. Just buyer beware. The old bait and switch. That was old Darius. Dude. Only branch I care about is the Zaza. Hey, I know what you're talking about, bro. But fucking Leonard Skinner. You want to go to the Leonard Skinner concert? You want the Leonard Skinner tickets? I know what you're talking about, dude. The South will rise again. VIP tickets, bro. I know what you, I know what you're laying down, dog. I know. I know the code. I know street. I've been watching Vice on the internet, on my YouTube. I saw about something about the banditos and the Hell's Angels, dude. I'm keeping up. I know what's going on. In these streets. Charles Mumford. Nice. Hanging out with Huey Lewis. I know her husband's in the army or whatever, in the military. You know what I'm talking about? The Cheney. Malcolm X. Who was like a badass white guy? You ever see how he brings up her economy? Yeah. That was like a good. So you have a war right now. What's the chances of me, you, that guy? I was gonna say F, you know, probably JFK, William Churchill, William Churchill, that guy, FDR. Yeah, but he was in. Do you know he was in a wheelchair? They didn't make it public. They hid it from the American public, and they would, you know, help him up to the stand, and then they'd do a lot of radio stuff too. So a lot of it wasn't um, visual. A lot of radio stuff, audio. But yeah, Winston Churchill. Wouldn't he be a great person to have a beer with, Winston Churchill? Winston Churchill, get me together with Winston Churchill, Einstein, and Babe Ruth. Fucking hanging out. Wait a minute, wait, hold on. Wait a minute, this is just now. Oh, wait, is that just the plot to. Bill and Ted's bogus journey. Fuck. All right, never mind. All right. Anyway. Church was a pathetic imperialist. Okay, maybe not a great example for you. He was, the thing was, 
He was a great speaker, and people believe in what he said. So. Henry Kissinger. Oh, God. This is one of the worst. I, I saw people on Twitter that were like, burn in hell, Henry Kissinger, when he died on Twitter. I'm like, damn. Shit on your fucking... Man, he was a fucking asshole. Jesus. They were Average completed school with sixth grade. Well, you died at 30, so you know, kind of live, live fast, die hard. You know, you're working at the coal mine as a, <coughs> as a child, you know, take some years off of life. Down there, nothing better than go clean, burning coal. Clean coal. Do you know much about investing? I heard you talking about money and stuff, but do you know much about investing? And no, things? I got a, I got a traditional. Uh, I just wondered. I'm I trying to learn more about it. What is, is an IRA? Do you invest in a specific thing, or I'll let them do it. Oh, uh, the the company doesn't. Yeah, I give. I, if I give six, they get four. So I let them do it. And Kissinger overthrew democracies over the time. corporate thing. Look yeah, with the CIA and shit, thing. right? We're on to you, bud. We know about you, Kissinger. We got, we got the History Channel. We watch after midnight when they get when they tell you all the top secret shit. That they know that whenever the nerds go to sleep, they the ancient aliens and shit, the real shit. When they start telling the truth late at night. We're not going to be able to get it. Yes. God damn it. Well, we're not getting Social Security now, guys. Did you hear the news? The guy at the bar said we won't be able to. Well, I wouldn't count on it, that's for sure. So us paying for the Social Security is just going to go out the door with the baby, the baby boomers for their Social Security, and there's not going to be... They're out partying and living it up down in Florida and shit, drinking Mai Tais and singing fucking Jimmy Buffett. God damn it. Thanks, Biden. Biden's America, Danny. That's what I told you, bud. You thought he was the one. I'm writing in Bernie Sanders. We're all writing. We're writing them in. Like they check the ballots. Shit's all scammed. They made it digital so it's easier to, to fake it. Because if it's a number, it's easier to fake than fucking having to do every one by one with cards and stuff. Right, that's what I thought. That's my thoughts on it. Like, oh, they want this shit digital? Haha. I know why. No, not, the, not as... Station, you know, you can get fucking it's, it's whatever. The only, the only problem I have with cannabis, or let's say uh, wheat, yeah. 
people doing it in public. I got I got young kids. I don't want them smoking weed in front of my kids. I don't want my kids smelling that weed. You know, people don't like cigarettes too. But yeah, I don't, they have those like vapes and shit. People I don't use, care. A lot of sick people use vapes in public. But. I don't like vapes. I mean, they don't smell bad. They don't so. smell, yeah. yeah. But come on, have at least. The only way you're gonna have a perfect place is for the country, for the world to be perfect. You're never gonna have it. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Somebody's gonna have to, not gonna like it, no matter how you set it up. Yeah, no matter what you put on it. I went to Thailand. Thailand's pretty fun. I think I'm gonna go live there for a while. Yeah, I went there last year. Hey, Siva. What's your name, man? Josh. Josh. I'm Eric Bloomberg. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. I might have to walk two miles, brother. Oh, Why? I've been waiting for 20 minutes. What, for Uber or what? Yeah, Where do you got to go? I'll give you a ride if you throw me some gas money. You got cash? I don't know. We'll throw you some gas money. I only have like a Prius though, it's not a very big car. How many people? We gotta go. It's only two of us. Oh, okay. Three of us, motherfucker. Who? Oh, yeah, Me? three of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cocksucker. Uh, you want the address? I'll give you the address. Jesus. <laughs> well, if the Uber's already coming, you know, it's all your. Sounds well, like it's all I've been trying for 25 minutes. Oh, all right. Oh, that doesn't sound good. You just got the Oh, okay. Well, good luck. On the second thought, I was like, man, it's good. Have a good one, bro. Thank you. Have a good one, bro. Hey.